hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i'll be drafting an exaggerated cow sleeve pattern hi my name is ayo and i'm reaching you from lagos nigeria on this channel i upload diys pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video so now let's get right into the tutorial thank you i'll be working with the following items pins tape measure ideally a pencil should be used to draft a pattern but for this tutorial purpose i'll be using this green marker pen you also need a protractor this protractor is already embedded in this head square as you can see another set square curves a pair of paper scissors basic sleeve pattern and pattern paper so this is the basic sleeve pattern that I will alter to make the exaggerated cow sleeve pattern I will make use of just the cap of the sleeve I will draw a horizontal line like this to mark where the cap of the sleeve ends I will now cut it out. I will now draw a vertical line at the middle of the sleeve like this. Then I will cut it into two equal halves. So I have here a full pattern paper. This is the sleeve that I have already cut into two equal halves. On the pattern paper, I've already drawn a vertical line at the middle and a horizontal line at the lower part of the pattern paper. I will now break in my protractor. The protractor is already embedded on this set square. This is the protractor as you can see. I will now measure angle 45 degrees on both sides of the vertical line and I will mark the points. I will now draw the 45 degree lines using my long ruler. I will now measure the length of the cow drop. I want mine to be 15 inches long. I want the cow drop to reach my elbow. So I will measure the shoulder to elbow measurement, which gave me 15 inches. 15 inches on both sides of the sleeve will be 30 inches. So I will measure and mark where I will get a length of 30 inches on both sides of the 45 degree line. I will mark the points like this.
and I will connect the points together with a horizontal line. So where the horizontal line starts from, I will place the sleeve that I had already cut into two equal halves on both sides of the 45 degree line, like this. I will now pin them in place. I now connect these two points together with a slight curve on both sides of the 45 degree line. I connect the two points together like this. So this area that I'm tracing out with my fingers is the full sleeve pattern. But I still need to add a 2 inches facing at the upper part of the sleeve. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I will now fold the pattern paper like this at the upper line of the sleeve. I will fold it like this. I will now trace out the upper curve of the sleeve edge about 2 inches using a tracing wheel. I'm tracing out just about 2 inches of the sleeve edge because the facing is just 2 inches wide. I will now open up the pattern paper like this. I will now highlight the curve that I traced out with my marker pen, like this. I will now go ahead and cut out the sleeve pattern, which is the area which I'm tracing out with my fingers. So I now go ahead and cut out the sleeve pattern.
the slave will be caught on bias. To be caught on the cow sleeve person will be caught on bias on my fabric. So now I've already pinned the sleeve person to my fabric. I place the cow sleeve person on bias. I will now go ahead and cut it out. So this is what the cow sleeve looks like after cutting it out on my fabric. So if you want to fix this to an ammo, you have to fold the facing like this first. This side will be opened. These two sides will be fixed to the armhole. And these two points will be shoulder line like this. And this is where the cow drape will form. So that's it guys, we are done. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you for watching.